Hi guys, how are you? Let's go with a new video, continuous series. Today we are going to add a witness server into the failover cluster. We saw if quick wrap up in my previous video, we learned how to uh, how to build a failover cluster. Before that, we learned how to join a domain controller. And before that, we learned how to install our domain controller. So continue series. This is the fourth video of this series. So let's try to go add a witness server in our failover cluster. Same, I will go to my vCenter. I have my domain here. And uh, this is my test node one. And this is my test node two. Let's go and check this status for failover cluster manager. If we see here, our failover cluster is up and both node is also online and up and running. And right now we don't have any fail, uh, failover witness server on that. So we, we can add a failover witness uh, server, which is monitoring these two servers and if this goes down, this witness server will uh, send a message and ask this guy to come up as a active. So right now, these two are monitoring each other, but now we are bringing a witness server in between them and uh, to ask this witness guy, monitor these two guys. If one is dead, bring the second one active and uh, good to go for the client to have the resources. So as of now, I didn't make a new server, but in your uh, infrastructure, your business or corporate sector, you must have uh, another separate witness server. Right now, I'm going to use the same server, which is acting as a domain controller. So I'll make it as my uh, witness, uh, share witness server. So let's go back. What you need to do, you must uh, have a one folder here and uh, make a one share folder. You can make it on a C. I will make this folder here as my witness server, WITN, my witness folder. And what I will do, I'll give uh, like uh, full rights and share it. So if we go to sharing, advanced sharing and share this witness server permissions to everybody, apply, okay apply okay and in the security i will add my all clusters and nodes here important you must add objects here number one wfc windows failover cluster this one you can add and better to add your both uh, uh, clients also nodes so without having any issues, you can add the both test dash node one and node two. It will go for these two. I'll add all three guys here. First, Y object. Second, these two nodes. Full control. So all three guys here. Okay. Okay. W I T M. So this is our uh, witness server folder is ready. So let's join this guy as a, you know, uh, failover witness. So how we'll go, we can go on our any node, one of them. We have to open our failover cluster. Okay, here is our failover cluster. And how we will join uh, a witness server or add a witness server to this failover cluster. Just right click on this name of the cluster, go to the more actions and configure cluster quorum. Okay, quorum settings, new wizard will open. We'll go for next. And here we'll select, select a quorum witness. Okay, next. And here we will, you can use either a disk quorum or you can use a witness share. I do not configure your quorum witness. So we are going to add a quorum vote for this as a shared witness. I will select this one, configure a file share witness. Next, 
Okay, now here we I have to give a path of that witness server. So I'll go double backslash 192.168.100.201 slash WITN, my folder, same of this guy. And if I see the IP address of this server is IP config, C192.168.100.201, which I gave here and the share folder name here is the share folder double check folder is shared we can use this path also test dc computer name as well as the ip address okay. and it's shared i go here if i go next okay and next let's see you have successfully configured the uh, quorum settings to the cluster finish and if i see here see my witness server is added share witness and it's online and both the nodes will start writing and this cluster will start writing the showing the witness server you know sometime uh, happen that the witness servers get offline and some reasons so you can repair your uh, here go take it offline see uh, and then you can do here take it offline your cluster it is offline and you can do more repair So it will do repair. Okay, nothing to up repair. We'll bring it online. So sometime when if your witness is not getting uh, online, you can do like that. The network will be uh, refreshed and repaired. So this is our witness server is added. If I go on my this one I'll do refresh the second node same here we will see because it's the same on a, a management page cluster manager both side and if we go on my domain controller and we can see here what they made uh, in this under this folder if we go we saw one hash folder here inside of that we have a witness a verify share witness access nothing is here and if we go here, witness, you can see some uh, own custom made things under the witness because this is, you know, you don't need to do anything with that. If you deleted this, your witness server will start error or something bad with that. It will not work properly. So it is uh, this server, uh, this folder is managed by the cluster. So no need to do anything. So this was the uh, video for today. Hope you like it and uh, subscribe my channel for the new upcoming videos. Thank you very much.